All right, so in this video, I want to just show you uh, some basic uh, how to how to uh, work storyboard that, how to get on, how to work it, and yeah, so you'll log in with your SLUSD email and password. All right, your your link through Google Classroom. So you need to make sure you go in through Google, and again, you you use your SLUSD uh, email and password. All right, so you should see um, uh, my assignments. When you actually start the work, you're going to select that. But for now, I just want to show you how to how to work how to work this. Okay, how to work um, story about that. How to navigate the different features. So um, there are different layouts. The layout you're going to use for your project is this one, where you've got the the image here, the artwork here, the comic art here, and then a description of what's going on in the cell down below here. Um, so when you get to this point, this is where down here is where you will copy and paste those descriptions from each of the cells, right? And just make sure when you get to that point, you're, um, you're proofreading it, you're editing it so that it sounds nice. But, uh, the, the important part here is how do I add images and art and, and all that? So you can start with a scene. Okay. And. For our purposes, we're probably going to be using historical scenes, right? So if I scroll all the way this way, I think there might be some good options, but um, historical or outdoor might be good if you can find something, depending on, it's gonna depend on your topic, right? Whatever topic you selected. Maybe if you select a farming topic, maybe you wanna use this one. What you do is you select it and you drag it into the box and it will create the background for you, all right? Um, from there, uh, adding characters, you just select characters. There are a bunch of options for you. Um, if you're creating a modern character, you, you know, there's a lot of options here and modern clothes for kids, teens, um, there's different jobs, but for us, we're looking at, um, right, history, specifically ancient history. So for you guys, when you do this, you will select probably classical era and find uh, people that look like they're fitting the time period. So I'm looking at this, I don't see anyone that looks like they'd fit the time period. So maybe even beyond that, not mythology, medieval, no, oops. All right, so you have to, you know, navigate this to figure out where, where these people are for the time period we're looking at. It's kind of surprising they wouldn't be there. It's definitely not going to be medieval, I don't think. Um, maybe. Um, I know there's cave people. Oh, here we go. There's some cavemen here. Type people. No, those are monsters. Let's see. Caveman. Some caves here. Let's see. So you can search stuff and. Um, find some 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 possibilities but uh let's just say i pick you know i'll just pick a normal looking person just to show you how, how to work this so the nice thing about the people is you can you can edit their what they look like right their skin tone right their hair their skin tone um what their eyes look like their shirt their pants depending on their outfit that they're wearing right and then you can modify their pose which is really cool so if you click pose, there are some preset poses you can select, complaining, sleeping, sitting, um, but you can, you can modify even more just over here. So you can change their faces according to what they're, you know, you're trying to do with your scene. You can change their arms, their legs, right? Um, so it's super customizable, right? In terms of updating their, um, their poses. You can add what they're saying with the textables. All right, you can resize stuff how you need to. Um, add text inside, change the size of the text. It's all here. You can even change the color of, of the, the, um, the bubble. Um, you can rotate the people depending on you know what the situation is. You can rotate them like that with this little button up here. There's also rotate options here, right? If you want to, you know, 
with symmetry, rotate them. You can rotate them around like this, like this. It's super, super customizable, right? Um, let's see, there you go. Um, layers is an interesting idea. So let's say I want this guy out in the fields. Um, and then I want to add another character in the foreground. Okay, so he's up, he's up closer, let's say. I, oops, let's say I get rid of this. You can delete stuff with a little X, okay. Um, if I want to say put, see how he's behind him now? The layering is what's going to impact that. So if you click someone and then look at these different options, this is bring forward, this is bring to the front, bring backwards, send backwards, send to the back. If I click this, see how he goes to the back? He's behind everything, right? Um, if I control Z, bring him back to the front. Let's say I just want him behind him. I could click uh, send backwards and see how he goes behind him. All right, so that's going to be good for a lot of features. Let's say you want this guy to be kind of in the plants. There's a cropping option, which is right here. Click crop. You can, you can, you know, cut him off part way so that it looks like he's kind of in the plant. See, so it's so there's so many customizable features on Storyboard that you can explore. Um, you know, even beyond what I've just shown you, those are probably, probably the most important things that you need to to navigate this. Um, in some of my later videos, I'll, I'll show more specific stuff with the cave. I got to find the cavemen because I know there are people that look like in ancient times. But um, those are some of the major features you need to do this. Um, you can also search search stuff like I showed you before. Um, search certain things. So let's say you want to find like a thing about that is when you're searching stuff, um, these images aren't going to fit right the the scene necessarily so you got to make sure they fit with what you're trying to do but if you search stuff up you can find stuff that's actually on sort of that that fits nicely into the frame um you can also go online and upload something on your computer and then upload it through through upload right so like i did that with um with some stuff later in in my other class i did that with this because i wanted to show a poster to show that it was at Stanford University. So um, I did that for another one of my class. I put this on the wall of one of my posts, but that's a basic just guiding you through. So what I want you to do now is just, you know, have, have fun with this, just learn about it so that uh, next week you are prepared to do the actual project work of um, creating your comic that you uh, planned for. All right. Thanks. Hope this, uh, hope this helps.